There's a problem that a lot of us are facing today, and that is chronic EMF exposure or electromagnetic frequency. So in today's video, I wanna cover how to reduce EMF exposure easily without stressing about it. Let's dive into it. And if you haven't yet, make sure to press the subscribe button so you can be notified when videos just like this come out in the future. Now, in our day and age, and especially right now, as I'm shooting something on a camera, I have a cell phone in my pocket, I have a Wi-Fi router over here, we are constantly getting stimulated by what is called electromagnetic frequencies. And of course, some are good and some are bad, and there's some good and bad in everything. But the problem is we are being chronically stimulated by these leaving our calcium ion gates open and influencing a reduction in GABA and doing a lot of things that actually are against good health. They do not support good health. So in this video, I wanted to cover real briefly, not how it works, not how EMFs work, but instead how to actually reduce your exposure to them so you can get better rest, so you can recover quicker, and so you can actually calm down when you want to and get rid of that toxic electromagnetic stress that so many of us deal with. So the first way to actually get rid and reduce your exposure to EMFs is to get out of being around them. Don't be near them. I mean, the number one thing that you could ever do is just go outside, go somewhere that you aren't chronically being stimulated by technology throughout the day. Now, I know that is not possible for many of us, especially me, because of the fact that I do work on the computer, I do work in an environment that has a Wi-Fi router, and I need that in order to sustain my business, Attention Labs, you can see a little sign up there, which is where all my income comes from. So. I completely understand that oftentimes we get into a stress state of how am I going to avoid all technology? How can I actually get rid of all this stuff? And it's not about getting rid of everything. It's about strategically using it and doing a few things, which is what we're gonna cover next. But just for now, realize that the easiest way to get rid of EMFs, to get out of there, is to just avoid them and get away from them. Now there is 5G becoming prevalent in cities right now, so it is going to get harder. So these next few action steps are going to be really important as time goes on. So the second thing that you can do is unplug and minimize the amount that things are on when not in use. So for instance, let me actually show you what I'm talking about. So if you can see right here, I've actually got a timer it's got about 18 different settings, so depending on what day, what's going on, we can actually have this trigger at night to make sure that the Wi-Fi router right here is shut off, so we don't have to deal with getting constantly stimulated by Wi-Fi during the point in time in which we're not actually using Wi-Fi, so. But of course, you could also just go around unplugging things, and so that's something that I like to do, and it's strangely therapeutic in a sense of when you unplug everything, not only are you using actually less electricity because you don't have a constant wire that's being input into an outlet which is constantly calling electricity to it, but you can also make sure that whatever machine, whether it's like a smoothie maker or a toaster or an oven, whatever that is that normally is giving off some form of electromagnetic radiation is now actually unplugged and it doesn't need the energy because it's not being used. So that is number one, making sure to unplug and turn off things when they aren't in use. Now, number two is actually to protect yourself. And what I mean by this is not wearing tons of EMF blocking clothing, but doing things like installing Faraday cages, whether that be around your Wi-Fi router, if it does need to be on all day, or that's like using something like these Defender Shield EMF free headphones, which use an air tube so that I actually don't get radiation going into my brain all day. Ear pods and other Bluetooth based headsets is probably not a good idea, especially when you look at all the brain problems that the people who started to use and jumped on the Bluetooth bandwagon at the beginning, the stockbrokers, uh, the problems that they suffered, it's probably not wise to start to veer into territory where you actually are sending signals into the brain. So protecting yourself is one of the best ways. You can get phone cases on Defender Shield. You can actually get a, a blanket, which I would definitely recommend for people who are pregnant or trying to protect their belly area. But remember, with anything that is blocking, actively blocking EMFs, what it's doing is typically reflecting the signal. 
What that means is that if behind what the thing that you're blocking, there's another signal, you've just created a cage that actually probably enhanced the effectiveness and actually strength of that signal instead of blocking everything out. So that is always something to keep in mind when you go for the protection method of getting rid of EMFs. Number three is to distance. Distance yourself from all these different devices. So for instance, your cell phone. Do you need to carry it in your pocket day to day? Hell no, most people don't, but we act as though it is another appendage. Yes, you can get things and do things real quick on your phone at any point in time, but the fact of the matter is, the more that this is constantly touching your body, getting signal, the more that you're receiving the bad part of the stick at that point in time. So my recommendations is always to minimize the amount that you are using these different devices, whether that be your phone. And for instance, with the phone, one of the easiest ways to get rid of that is just to put it on airplane mode during all times which you don't wanna use it. It's a distraction anyways. Why not keep it on airplane mode during the day so it doesn't distract you and when you actively want to call text or use an app you can turn it off airplane mode with as simple as a press one button unlock your phone so that's something that i always recommend definitely keep your phone on airplane mode and i did a video recently about how to get rid of most distractions on your phone also so definitely check that out if that's starting to you know turn the juices in the brain but otherwise we also don't want to use our phone and keep it pressed against our head where we're literally giving a signal to the brain, heating it up. So using something, once again, like these Defender Shield headphones or some type of headphone that you plug in so you can walk around without getting the radiation to your brain while you're talking into the mic in the headphones is just an easy way to minimize the exposure to important parts of your body. Putting your laptop on your lap, that's another area. All the guys do that and what ends up happening is you are frying your genitalia and decreasing the amount of sperm cell count that you have. You're doing a lot of not good things to the area that is normally deemed most important for men. So don't put your laptop on your lap. Instead, maybe sit it on a table, a standing workplace, so you can actually be a few feet away from it. Wi-Fi routers, for instance, you always wanna be 10, 20, 30 feet away from them. They are strong. I have a AT&T fiber here, so we're getting one gig a second, which is incredibly strong. And of course it's convenient, but also it means that I need to take more preventative measures to make sure that that isn't happening. And now one of the most important points in time, a time that people don't normally realize they're getting EMF exposure because they aren't doing anything, is while they sleep. So to minimize EMF exposure while you sleep, one, unplug everything, but two, one of the easiest ways to actually decrease the EMFs in the room, and trust me, you will get better sleep the night you do this, is to turn the circuit breaker off just to your room. Just that. Turn off the circuit breaker to your room, unplug the Wi-Fi router or put it on a timer, and I guarantee your sleep, if you're using something like the Aura Ring or you're measuring in some way, will increase by five to 15 points. So that's how to minimize, realize and focus on when you actually need to do something, where that device needs to be, and if it needs to be close to you. And the fourth thing, the thing that I like to do every day that it's warm and that I can get a chance to go outside and do this is to ground and be in nature. We operate, if you've ever read the book, uh, Healing is Voltage, on a certain frequency. All cells do. Everything vibrates at a certain frequency. That's why you say a vibe is one way or another. And the problem is, a lot of times what we don't realize is all these different things, these constant stimuli, even your phone vibration, sets you at a different frequency. Electromagnetic frequencies are literally tuning your cells into a different vibratory potential. So what you can do, one of the easiest things to do, because we vibrate vibrate on a similar frequency as the earth is to stand barefoot, barefoot touch the ground, get some type of grounding going. And I have a few videos on that that'll link as well, because by doing that alone, you start that ionic transfer process so that you can actually turn off all the stress responses in your body, get the parasympathetic nervous system going again, and do it in a non-stressful state that allows you to get better metabolic health to shut down those, ca uh, those calcium ion gated potentials that are staying open, increase GABA and feel a better, more connected sense of well-being to the planet Earth. So those are the four things 
to do to reduce EMF exposure. If this video helped you in any way or you do something else, please put it in the comments below. Otherwise, make sure to press the like button and subscribe so you can get notified when videos just like this come out in the future. Peace.